Hello, this is my famous artist inspired outfits video. Um, brief explanation for what my inspired by like series is, is basically me grabbing inspiration from media, from my own life, from a Disney movie, that's the first one was, and then I use it to make an outfit and a makeup look and then I talk about how I come up with my idea and yeah so if you have any suggestions give me some I love doing these videos so much if you were wondering when the lighting kept changing every day here is the weather so on Monday I wore an outfit inspired by Franz Marc um, he's German, he was an expressionism guy, his art was very bold, he used a lot from nature, lots of animals, as you can see. Um, I thought his color scheme was really interesting, so that was something that I relied a lot on in my outfit. As you can see, I used a lot of bold colors, uh, even my shoes were bright yellow. So I used green, orange, and blue. Um, my makeup um, was also very bold. I used your iconic restaurant crayon colors um, because that's what he used in his art all the time. Pretty consistent guy. So Tuesday, I wore a Georgia O'Keeffe outfit, um, American artist, she has her own freaking museum, modernism, paintings, um, very iconic flowers, uh, used a ton of layers in every single art piece that she painted, I noticed that was very common, so I literally wore a lot of layers in my clothing. And I also wore um, a button down that had stripes, so like those are like layers as well. My makeup look has tons of layers. I used the first painting that I showed, Lake George Reflection, um, the actual color pattern, like the order, the same order as she did. Wednesday, I did the iconic Michelangelo. He's the Renaissance Italian man of everyone's dreams. He did murals and sculptures. That was the, I said that backwards. You get the point. Um, yes, I did cover up their uh, private parts with stars. Anyway, um, in his murals, he had very flowy outfits, uh, obviously back then the kind of attire they used to wear um, was very muted colors and very simple, so I thought I would keep this look simple. As you can tell, my makeup is also very simple this day. The only thing that you can't really notice, but underneath my eye I put a little bit of blue to be like the consistent sky he would always put in his murals. So Thursday, I was Yayoi Kasama, she's a Japanese, I think American artist, uh, her art is surrealism pop art is how I would describe it, it's very um, cluttered but in a neat orderly way, she does a lot of art installations, they're really cool, so something that she uses a lot is polka dots and a lot of overlapping patterns. So I paired two things together that I would never pair together because I'm generally not someone that is a pattern clasher, but she definitely is. And so my makeup also had lines and polka dots. I also used yellow and red because those are her most common colors in her art installations. And she still has them to this day.
So Friday, I did the iconic Van Go Man. Um, he's Dutch, post-impressionism. He did a ton of self-portraits, ton of landscapes. He's obviously famous for this painting. This is the most iconic one, so I had to dress similarly to that, but his two most used colors are blue and yellow. So everything I wore besides the white turtleneck was blue and yellow. I also had my makeup very blue and yellow. It, that stayed more towards the starry night. I put a little moon rather than making it his overall art, but everyone loves good starry night. Those were my looks for the week. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave more suggestions in the comments and see you soon.